is the sixth in a series of short videos on how to do uh, the geometric construction assignment in AEDD 105. In this case, we have probably our most challenging one. It's not that challenging if you use AutoCAD's built-in fillet and um, tangent tangent radius tool. However, from a construction point of view, using a standard and traditional technique um, with compasses, it's a little bit trickier. And what we're looking here is at a situation where you have two arcs that need to connect two circles. So what I'm going to do is start by creating my two circles and you'll notice that there are specific dimensions given not the distances between but dimensions given for the arcs themselves so let's just start over here in fact just to make sure that they're the right size um, draw a circle right there that has a radius of 1.08 I'll draw another circle down in this area that has a radius of 0.52 and I think that'll geometrically work. I might move them just a little bit closer together. Okay, now what I'm going to do is to connect that large circle and that small circle with a convex arc that goes on the outside and a concave arc that goes on the inside. Again, an in AutoCAD circle TTR and the fillet command could easily accomplish that, but we're going to use traditional techniques so that you understand how they work. Let's start with a concave arc in the bottom. What we're trying to locate in every one of these cases is the center of an arc that will be tangent to both of those two. And if that arc right there has a radius of 3.52. It means that the distance to the center of that arc from this tangency has got to be 3.52. So what we really need is a point that's 3.52 from that arc as well as 3.52 from this one. So I'm going to go back to the offset command. 3.52 is the distance I want to offset. I'm going to bring this out here and this out here like so. Now let me once again, put those two circles on the object layer because those are the things we're trying to connect. Where this arc crosses this one, that point right there, the distance from that point right there in a straight line to this, 3.52. The distance from that arc right here in a straight line to that arc, 3.52. So that point right there, that intersection, is exactly 3.52 away from each of those arcs. Which means if we turn around and draw a circle, and let's just to make that point a little clearer, I'm going to first draw a straight line that goes from the center of that arc to the intersection of the two that we created as object lines because that location right there is actually going to be the tangency. Now I draw a circle whose center starts down here at the intersection. 3.52 is the radius. It crosses right through that tangent point like so. If I use my two object circles for my trim command and trim that out, I now have the inside arc, and that inside arc has a radius of 3.52. If I were to select it, bring up the pop property window, property window indicates that the radius 3.52. Now I'm going to go ahead and place that on the object layer since we've got that done. Now I'm going to do the other uh, arc, the one at the top. Now that is going to start to get a little confusing if I leave these construction lines here. So what I'm going to do is to make a new construction layer with a different color so I can turn this layer off and then do this one independently. I've just done that and now I'm back. What we need to do now is rather than offset that, the distance, and if you look at the radius we're looking for is, is a radius of 4. Um, what we're going to do instead is start at the same center but we need to find a distance that is four units from the top of each circle, not from the bottom. In other words, from up here. Because the top of the circle is the distance from the center to the outside, or the radius of each circle away from the actual center, what we need to do is a little bit of math. And the math we need to do involves doing this. We need to start with the size of the circle that we're using, or the arc we're using to connect the two. And then what we have to do is to subtract, in each case, the radius of the circle we're concerned about. So what I need is to draw a circle whose center is right here and whose radius is 4 minus the distance from here to here. 4 minus 1.08 is 2.92. So if I make this 2.92, looks like that. So now the distance from this circle down here to the back side of that is the distance from the circle itself to its own center, which is 2.92, 2 
plus the radius of the big circle, which is 1.08. That adds up to 4. So the distance from this down here to the back side of that top circle is 4 units. I'm going to do the same thing for the other circle. I'm going to start Sorry, we're going to start with the 4 inch circle, radius of the one we're connecting. And this time we're subtracting 0.52. When we do that, 4 minus 0.52 is 3.48. So now I'm going to draw a circle whose center is at the small one. 3.48 is the size. So now where they cross should be 4 inches from the top of that arc. It should also be 4 inches from the top of that arc. I should be able to draw a circle right here. I'm actually going to start again by going right through the center, come up perpendicular, start here, right through the center, come out here perpendicular. That should be the tangent point between the arc that I'm drawing on the outside and those two circles. If I draw a circle whose center is right there, has a radius of 4, it goes right through those tangent points. If I use my trim command and I use the object lines themselves to trim that arc back, looks like this. I make I trim between these two arcs and clean that up. Now I can go back and say let's place that on the same layer as this. I now have my little kidney bean. Mine looks a little different because I placed my circles a little differently, but all the sizes are correct and the locations are correct, but it does involve doing a little bit of math.